Pill crushing is part and uh, of the task that nurses are uh, involved with. Um, and for some, this can become a tedious process. They get into what's called the RSI or the repetitive strain injury category. Some call it the cumulative trauma injury or disorder. Um, it's essentially using the same kind of muscles, same joints, to do, perform the same tasks over and over again. And uh, so there's uh, you know, some wear and tear that sets in, some amount of inflammation, and can be debilitating at times. So we looked for an ergonomic design uh, for pill crushing. We found some in the market that uh, seemed to do what uh, we thought was an ergonomic design, but it still didn't take away the actual manual process of crushing the pill. Um, that's when we decided we need to find something else and looked around to see if there's a electronic version of it or a not manual version of it, and we happened to chance upon Safe Crush. I was crushing meds, and, and we have you know chronic care patients that have a multitude of comorbidities. So it's not like you're crushing one pill. You're crushing 14, 15 at each med pass for each patient. And at the end of the day, I would have numbness in my fingers. I would have um, difficulty with my thumbs, um, grasp, weakened grasp. Um, and I had gone to occupational health um, at my place of employment, and they referred me to therapy which I did go to with only minimal relief, however. I then had to have a nerve conduction study which showed the carpal tunnel moderate to severe in both hands. Had that fixed, um, I still have a lot of atrophy to the muscles in my thumb. Um, I have a new ganglion cyst that's very tender. Um, I still have weakness. I mean, once you have atrophy to that muscle, it doesn't usually come back to the degree where you had been prior to the injury. Um, my elbows um, are very tender uh, still with the scar tissue. Um, and again, just general weakness um, with my hands and the hand strength. But um, I'm so happy to have Safe Crush. We just couldn't wait to get this machine. And uh, I use it anytime I'm on the floor and I honestly don't know what I would do if we didn't have it today. Um, my job in crushing meds, going back to manual after the two surgeries, would be very difficult for me to perform without this being available to me. I've never been affected by the manual pill crushers with repetitive strain injury. I think it's, I don't know if it's due to the fact that I've only been doing it for three and a half years, but uh, my supervisor, Nancy, she um, actually had to undergo surgery for carpal tunnel due to the, uh, the manual pill crushing. And I know it always put a strain on her elbows and she would, by the end of the day, she would she'd be holding her elbows and just, it really took a toll on her. Again, it's so nice to leave every day when you do have a full patient assignment and I don't have the aches and I don't have the uh, worry anymore if I did more damage to my hands or to my elbow. So it's been wonderful, and thank you. I, um, I had to have a surgical procedure in my neck. I had a disc replaced, my C, um, C6-7 disc replaced due to um, a herniation from repetitive pill crushing. Well, I myself have crushed my finger while trying to crush pills with our original um, pill crusher. Um, I know a lot of my coworkers have done that too. Carpal tunnel, um, tendonitis from constantly pushing, you know, the, the old cr pill crusher. So we've been using manual pill crushers here as long as we can remember. And we've had a lot of injuries, a lot of dissatisfaction with the products that we're using. So we contacted Safe Crush to help us solve this problem. I have seen nurses go through carpal tunnel surgery. I've seen them actually had to change careers because they could no longer do it. Uh, most of the injuries are carpal tunnel. Uh, smashing your fingers on some of our metal pill crushers. Uh, it's a nuisance for the uh, nurses, the staff. It's also a nuisance for our population, our patients, because it's noisy. You have three shifts that you're covering and you're out there banging. And I mean, if you've ever been on the units and hear the metal pill crushers, it's loud. So it, yeah, have I 
experience and know of people that have been injured, quite a few. But in the two years that I've been here, I've seen nurses with carpal tunnel injuries, shoulder problems, elbow issues, and we've had several surgeries conducted on our nurses that is directly related to manual pill crushing. Uh, Long-term disability due to pill crushing, yes. I, I think, um, unfortunately, um, if left untreated or some of them don't respond to the uh, conservative forms of treatments, then yes, uh, it becomes part of the process to get better and, and it can get expensive and long and tedious for all parties involved. So I think um, our goal is to, one, be proactive, prevent that, uh, and two, if it were to happen, then provide the best care we can, and that sometimes does include, uh, you know, long rehab, surgeries, injections, uh, things of that sort. And as an organization, we feel very happy that we've been able to provide this to our nurses to keep them safe. Our goal is not to treat them so much as to prevent this process. So catching them early is our, our best opportunity.